Right, after we got it all tightened, everything screwed down, and uh, yeah, it's all good, except there's always one in there. One hole that doesn't quite match. That's going to have to get drilled out a bit. It nearly fits. Nearly. But it's not quite. I'm going to have to drill it. That's okay. I've got steppers there. Or I might have a drill that's that thickness. I might go to 10mm. So, anyway. I'll get that drilled and we should be able to then put a sander onto the stand and get that screwed down. in the right place but it looks as if it is with everything else so I think it's just the bottom one that was needing widened right now we'll go to that time that we're due to put up the sander and it says here well, I like this but with the help of an assistant what assistant? Place the unit on its stand, taking care to lined up the mountain holes. Yeah, I know. But, what is this? Empty one to give my hand. Too late. By the time you see this, I've done it. Right. We're in good shape. Everything's all tightened. Everything's ready to go. I don't have an assistant. The book tells me I need an assistant, but I don't need an assistant. I should have had my porridge this morning. Or maybe three or four meter bits. But, it's came to that time. We are going to put the sander onto the stand. And I've checked the bottom of the sander, there's nothing on it. So it can go straight onto the stand. And then we'll get it a length from there and get it screwed in. It's a heavy wee bastard. So it is. Right. It's kind of lined up, but I don't know where the holes are yet. Too old for this shit. Hey, good guess on the button. Some man. You can see shit just now, apart from me being under there. 
you kind of see what I'm doing. But I'm just screwing in a bolt. That's it. So I'll I'll start it again once it's oh. That's it done. Solid. It ain't going anywhere. I'm knocking. No good for you, an old man my age. Anyway, job done. Now I've got to figure out where am I going to put it. Okay, there's a look inside the drum. Just give you a quick look at that. There you go. That's the drum. There we go, ladies and germs. The new drum sander, the new addition to outlaw guitars. That's going to help a hell of a lot while I'm making stuff right here's hoping it was worth getting no I can't say that I know it was worth getting here's where I want to put it but obviously facing this way so I can put wood through across so I need to move that out of the way and down there that's just a box of wood at the bottom, what I brought for crimson those other boxes they're veneers I just need to move them that's where my bandsaw usually goes if anybody's interested in that bandsaw story I'll tell you about it but uh, I don't know if I can say too much because I'll be taking the guy to court but I can give you the basic story yeah, surely. That's not going to affect anything. Over in the corner there, I've got some car seats and that. I need to get them sold. So I can get this filing cabinet, but that's where I usually eh, that's where I usually film what I'm doing on the bench. Over there. And Maybe I can set the camera on uh, on this part and film when I'm on the bench. I don't know. We'll see. I might have saw. I mean, I could fold that down and kind of stick out of the way, give me a bit more room, but it's not really taking up much room. Now I've got my table saw underneath my router table it just sits on a folding bench again I can fold that up but then where would I put my writer table you know I've got space over here between my drill press the thickness planer and then I've got the trident oscillating something down there I mean, I've got space. I just need to move things about a wee bit. But I definitely want to set that at the front of the bench here. No wonder I'm knackered. It says here 158 pounds. Certainly didn't feel like 158 pounds. Or even £136. Pounds. Uh, maybe I'm stronger than I thought. Do man. Done it myself. <laughs> oh, and do you know what else? Now, this is a bit of a bastard. Especially for the youth. Especially for like folk in Europe and all that. Look. It's an inches. 
It's all right for you across the pond there. But we use mill. Well, well. What can you do about it? But who the hell puts imperial measurements on things these days? Now I've got it sitting here just now. I don't think that's where I'm going to put it permanently. Uh, but I'm just going to start it off. I've got it plugged in. I haven't started it up yet. So let's see how noisy this thing is. Yeah, that's okay. quiet I'm happy with that of course when you put the dust extraction on the noise of the, the vacuum will be a little bit louder but the machine's quiet so yeah happy with that I'm going to leave it there guys and I'll do some sanding the next time because by the time I've edited this down I'm either going to have a quick one fifteen minute one or maybe about two fifteen minutes, something like that. I don't know, I'll need to wait and see till I get to the edit, but uh, we'll do some we'll do some sanding on it in the next video. Well, it's been a day guys. I'm gonna get in there and get some tea and I'll see you on the next video. This is Rob, Fairlaw Guitars. Bye.